Hello and welcome to this guide on how to play Diablo 3 with an Xbox 360 controller. Why would you want to play Diablo with an Xbox 360 controller? Well, maybe all those clicks are giving you physical issues or maybe you just want to play a game with a controller. Maybe that's just what you're used to. Whatever your reason, maybe uh, it's easy with this uh, software, Joy to Key English version, I'll put the link where you can download the, this program in the description below the video. There's other programs that can do this, but I've just I tried this one. It works fine. It's free. So as far as as far as I'm concerned, you don't really have to look any further. So you download Joy to Key. You download the zip file and then you extract the zip file. So there's just two files in the zip file. It's the executable for Joy to Key, which is the entire program, and a little readme file. So I've already uh, extracted the program to a directory. This is how it will look the first time you launch it. If you have a joystick, uh, an Xbox 360 controller, or any other joystick attached, uh, it will launch fine. If you do not have any supported devices attached, you will get an error message. So this is how the Xbox 360 controller standard configuration for Joy to Key looks the first first time you launch it. Um, you'll want to do some other configuration for Diablo 3, so you go to the Others tab below here. Uh, I just changed this to 1 because I only have one joystick. It defaults to 2, I'm not sure why. Uh, then you'll have to check this box, Use axes other than X and Y, which means you can use the trigger buttons on the Xbox controller which are actually seen by Joy to Key as the Z axis. You'll also want to check this box, use POV switches. Uh, that means you can use the directional pad on your controller. The threshold for input, you might want to change that if you have if your dead zone is a bit too small and you get slow trailing of your cursor to the left or up or any direction without you actually moving any of the sticks on the controller. Then we move back to the joysticks tab and you'll have to set these to what you want. How I'll set it is the default configuration, how I have set it up, which works well for me for Diablo. So I'll explain what the axes are. Axes X and Y, these are the four uh, axes of your left stick axis 3 up and down uh, is your are your trigger buttons axis 4 and 5 translate to your right stick axis 6 and the slider I'm not exactly sure what that is I'm not using those that works fine POV 1 up right uh, down and left are your directional pad it detects a second set I'm not using those button 1 is your Xbox's A button, button 2 is the B button, button 3 is X, button 4 is Y, button 5 is your left bumper, button 6 is your right bumper, button 7 is your uh, select button, button 8 is your start button, button 9 is uh, the click down press on the left stick and button 10 is the click down press on the right stick. So. I'll show you how my configuration looks like. Obviously, this is very flexible and you can configure it any way you'd like. Uh, so first, the left axis. So this is left on the left stick. I will translate this to a left on the mouse. You can go full 100. I've experimented a bit with this and what works well for me is minus 70, which means 70% of full mouse speed to the left. All right. If you want uh, movement with just the left stick, you can check this as well, which means it will click the left mouse button as you are moving the mouse cursor. Uh, the configuration I have found uh, that works best for me does not do this, which means you have to hold the A button, simulating you holding the left mouse button while you move the mouse cursor around. So this is right. I'll just keep all of this to 70 to keep it nice and, uh, and steady. Uh, 
x is y more than 0 is up. So we'll do this up, up 70, down 70. So th this is the configuration for the left stick, which is now already complete. And this is me moving my cursor around with the configuration I just did on my Xbox controller. Uh, axis 3 is your uh, left and your right trigger. So I've bound the left trigger to left shift, which means in Diablo you can make your character stand still while you uh, execute your abilities. So we'll have to go back to keyboard and I'll press shift. And as you'll see, it'll assign shift to the uh, left trigger. Uh, the right trigger, I haven't found anything for that yet. If you come up with anything, that's fine. Uh, so axis 4 is the uh, the right stick. This is all the right stick. I'm not using that. You could use the left stick for click to move and then the right stick for just moving about. As I said, you have to experiment about with the bit. Um, directional stick up. I have that set as T for teleport the uh, town portal. Uh, the right one I have set to M or tab does the same thing. It's the map. It pulls up the map. Down I have put to I, which is your inventory screen, and the left is very important. Q, uh, use a health potion. Button one is A on your Xbox controller. I have bound that to the left mouse button. Button 2 is B, and I've bound that to right button. Uh, button 3 is X, and this is where you'll want to start using the four abilities, your 1, 2, 3, 4 abilities on your hotbar. So 1 is uh, X, Y will be 2. Button 5 is your left bumper. I have bound that to button 3, and the right bumper is button 4. So most of the abilities are set now. and as you'll see in a moment when we get in the game, this works really well.